Hey, I'm Albert from Muffin Group and from now on I will be making a video tutorials about the bee theme and the bee builder. If you have any feedback about this video or just want me to make a tutorial about something you don't know how to use, feel free to leave me a comment and I will do my best to help you. Ok, so let's move on to the topic. Using the Hera Builder 2.0 you can build a fully responsive header that will be completely different on the mobile devices from that on a desktop or tablets. If you want of course. If not, Hera might look similar across all devices and may adapt to them automatically. To make header different on mobile we have two methods available we can use. The first one is to hide and show individual elements for example, if your header consists of two elements, logo and navigation. Let's take a closer look at the following example. I'm gonna build a really basic header with the logo on the left side. Let's maybe change the logo. And the menu on the right side. Let's align it to the left side. It's just a common type of header to better visualize the editing on mobile. As you can see, on desktop everything looks fine, but let's switch to the mobile version. And now, the menu that was looking good on desktop doesn't look so good on mobile. What can we do now? We can hide the menu on mobile by going to the Advanced Responsive tab and disabling this specific menu for mobile only. Yes, it's that simple. And now, Let's say we need a standard mobile menu, so I will go back to the elements and all I will do is just drag and drop the menu burger. The menu is aligned to the left side and if we want to align it to the right, all I have to do is go to the advanced positioning tab of the wrap where our menu burger is and align this element horizontally to the right side. That's great, now it looks exactly as I wanted it to look like. Alright, but what about our desktop version right now? We can switch back to the desktop and as you can see, now we have the logo on the left side and on the right side we have the regular menu and our burger menu. So, if we want to disable the burger menu on desktop, we have to do the similar steps just like we did on the mobile. So let's go to the addition of the menu burger and in the advanced responsive tab, we have to disable this menu, but this time on desktop. That's great. So now we have the logo and the regular menu on the desktop, but if we'll switch to the mobile, we have the logo on the left side and the menu burger on the right. The second method is building completely new header only for mobile separately. To start building such header, the first thing we need to do is go to the header options and enable the option responsible for creating header on mobile. As soon as we enable this option, the mobile tab in the right top corner will be unlocked. And now, if we will click on that mobile version in the right top corner, we will see that our header builder just cleared out and we have to start from scratch. No worries, uh, if any time you will change your mind and decide to go back to the default header for mobile, you can disable that option again and if you will go back to the mobile version, you will see the same header you've been just working on already. Anyway, let's say we want to build a header from scratch for mobile. Therefore, let's enable that option again and add few elements for our mobile header. Uh, I will create three wraps. For the left one, I will put the icon with uh, the phone as I want visitors to click on it and call directly. For the middle wrap, we'll put the logo. Let's maybe change that logo. And for the right one, this time I will put the menu burger. 
and maybe let's align that menu burger to the right side. As we already created a really simple header for the mobile, uh, we can switch now to the desktop version. And as you can see, we have the header we've been working on uh, in the first step by hiding and disabling elements. And uh, if we now switch to the mobile version, uh, we have the header we've been working on from scratch with uh, the icon phone and the logo and the menu burger on the right side. Because I wouldn't want to drag this video anymore as the main idea was to generally visualize building different header based devices, I hope you found this tutorial helpful and from now on you will be able to freely create any headings depending on the project's needs. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. If you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.